live from Matthews Arena in Boston. It's the Huskies of Northeastern and the Warriors of Merriman. Off the arm of Carlisle, he felt that. Now Harris, Colangelo, goal post tip score, Jack Hughes. And Northeastern gets a power play goal and a one to nothing lead. Yeah, not sure who's gonna end up getting credit for this one. We'll take a look at the replay, but we talked, Rob, about setting up the right shot, right system, and you got Colangelo down there in his one-timer position, uh, ready to put that on that. And, and I'm not sure if that one trickled across the line before Hughes gets to it, but uh, when you're playing defense. Chance of the two on one. Drop pass, score! Merrimax on the board, Zach Ewins, it's one to one. Yeah, Zach Ewins uh, talked about him before tonight's game uh, out of Wellington in the Ontario Junior Hockey League. That'll be his second goal of the season. And, you know, we mentioned Merrimack getting active in transition. This is a perfect example. And just gets this puck towards the net actually. It goes off of just like spot stick. And Ewins is right there coming up the middle. Uh, beats his checker up the ice. He got three Northeastern back checkers there in the picture, but not picking up sticks. And Northeastern gets punished. And this game is back to Tied hockey yeah, outside, not penalty. So Northeastern has the puck. Islin trying to move in. Backhand! That's a beautiful goal for Northeastern's Julian Kislin, and it's two to one Husky. Uh, we talked about it in the first period, Rob. Kislin got his first career goal as a Husky in his senior year earlier this season at UMass Lowell. That was a big game to get or big goal to get that game started. And watch this pass here from Jack Hughes. Whole building thinks he's going. The opposite way, but just forks a backhand pass over to Kislin. And Kislin, we've talked about him quite a bit. He took him a while to score a goal, but he doesn't have a shortage of chances by any means. That looks like a goal scorer's touch. Oops. Uh, did not get by Borgil. Now St. Louis, tip score! Well, we said it was coming, and there it is. First goal, 3 1, Northeastern. And we talked about this fourth line and all the success they've been having uh, for Northeastern and product productivity they've been doing as far as momentum goes, but they get rewarded in a big way. They come off, I think they're maybe their first shift of the second period, and that's uh, St. Louis supporting Struble up high. Just get that puck on that, and there's Outson. He gets out in front of his check, gets a stick on it. Uh, St. Louis knows. If I get back that uh, struggle with zone entry in this one. Here's Sam Colangelo, he shoots and scores. A beauty, three, excuse me, four to one, Northeastern leads. Well, there's, there's a few things that are, are certainties almost. And uh, one of those things when Sam Colangelo has that puck 16 feet from the net, he's gonna blow by your goaltender. He may not even see it. Just so much power and velocity on that shot. Very similar. Uh, to what Huskies fans see from Aiden McDonough the last four years. But look at that. Colangelo gets that puck. He knows where he's going the entire time. Head up. Has his pick. And on goal with under 10 minutes to play in the third. And that puck slipped through Struble and Jack Hughes. Kept in the zone. Shot score! Struble. And it is 5-1 to one Huskies. And we're going to wait for Struble to get involved offensively and I see him there as the proverbial monkey off the back celebration. Uh, getting rid of whatever the demons were. Struble been so good for Northeastern all season long and he scored some funky goals. He scored earlier from the opposite side of the red line. Here's an overhead look at this one. See this puck it ends up getting elevated. Goes far side past Borgil and, and here's Colangelo. He's gonna have to go in alone. He does, he creates and shoots and scores! Sam Colangelo, second goal of the game. Six to one, Huskies. Yeah, you said Jack Hughes was trying to be the first Husky to score his second of the evening, and Sam Colangelo says, hey Rob, you forgot about me. And uh, geez, uh, what a great release from Colangelo. Watch this, just goes across the ice, gets everybody thinking one way, and it's like with some of those quarterbacks can throw back across their body with velocity. Uh, Colangelo's doing the same thing there with a the snapshot low, just over the pad. Hard thing to get to as a goaltender to get your blocker all the way down to that part of the goal. And uh, Colangelo makes this one six to one. And that's the hockey game. These teams were tied 
for second place when the puck drops at 7 o'clock and Northeastern wins 6 to 1.